I'm a 16 year old British Bangladeshi campaigner who um, works under the name of Bird Girl and it's amazing to see so many people here today um, so thank you all for coming but there is one thing there's a lack of faces that look like mine and this lack of diversity is despite the fact that one in three people in London are VME or visible minority ethnic um, and it's shocking that 77% of children from high socioeconomic backgrounds visit Nature Weekly, but it drops to 56% for children that are VME. And inequality of engagement creates an inequality of opportunity. And an unequal society isn't a sustainable one because people don't care about saving nature if they don't know about nature. And Richard Benmore summed it up really perfectly, saying that access to nature, like schooling or healthcare, is a right, not a privilege. Wow. And a huge issue is the monoethnic view, way we view engagement with nature, which excludes VME people and their experiences and alienates them from wildlife. And to make change, we're going to need everybody, all communities on board for the challenge that's ahead. And without this, we're not going to be successful in saving wildlife. And only one in 200 environmental professionals are VME. And this needs to change. The organisations need to change to reflect the society that we live in. And the government needs to understand the barriers for VME people for engaging with nature. Um, and take action to address them. We must reach out and engage with these communities in their own spaces and places and listen to and understand what the environment and nature means for them. However,